know this about me, but I like Transformers. Notice in the name, I'm being dumb. But you might not know that I love Transformers Prime. And Transformers Prime was a huge part of my childhood and introducing me to this amazing franchise that can just not stop being rebooted. God. I'm not even joking. Every few years there's gonna be a new Megatron, new Optimus, new Bumblebee. God, I hate Bumblebee. And only once we actually see a Wheeljack and a Barricade. I mean, Barricade's more common now, but Wheeljack is slowly, like, was slowly, like, being pushed out, but now he's coming back a little bit more, which is pretty, you know, good. Pog Champ. Oh, that hurt. That hurt to say. Anyway, so I'm doing another unboxing video. I don't know why I went on that tangent at the beginning. It's, uh, speaking of Transformers Prime. Oh, crap. The background. I went to my local. I haven't cleaned up my desk. Went to my local uh, Emerald City, and in the little um, rack that has a bunch of loose toys, I found a first edition Transformers Prime Megatron, which is uh, really cool. Um, <laughs> right, you know what this, sh this show is all about, so uh, snippet. Okay, let's just. This one should be a lot easier than uh, the other ones, considering they're not kind of like a knife. See, look at that. That was so easy. Now, uh, let's actually look at the figure. First thoughts, um, it's a lot better than the Voyager one that I got when I was, like, five. It has an actual ion blaster that he had in the show and not the weird mech tech one. I always wanted to like mech tech, but I always, but I always, like, I always wanted to like, I always wanted to like mech tech, but it never, it always found a... I always wanted to like mech tech, but I always found that it was weird that you can never lock any other weapons when they transformed. Spring-loaded transforming weapons, what a great idea. They just never worked, and they broke most of the time, and they never really worked. Said the same thing twice! Ah. Like, I don't know, like, I think it being at, like, the design process, everyone was like, this is it. This is the thing. That This is gonna define the future. What the hell? Anyway, so, you know, that's a thing. First glance, this thing's paint apps are really good. I, like, I feel like this the like um silver paint stands out a little bit but it's really cool something that you don't really see when it comes to transformers that are loose instructions and these are good quality instructions like these are like hold up yeah remember the transformer level system man one two three this is a level two i might not be able to transform this i might not be able to transform this okay i'm gonna try and transform it think i got it there's monkey in the background hey monkey I think i got it I really nice vehicle mode. That's that's spot on with the show. And it something I really like is it didn't fall apart as much as the other one. <laughs> like don't get me wrong, this thing did have a few parts that popped up, especially these little silver bits and vent pieces at the back. Those popped off like twice, but it's 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 fine. It's not too bad. It's uh it's nowhere near as bad as the other one, the Voyager. But hey, that's pretty good. Uh, this figure is really good. I give it a accelerate out of there's a wooden dude in the background. Okay, bye. Merry Christmas. Okay, bye.